Hey there Mountaineer fans and welcome into another installment of Talking About Preseason. Today we are joined by four members of the Southern Vermont College women's soccer team. From left to right we have sophomore Lauren Nessover, senior Michelle Flores, senior Abby Rosas, and freshman Chelsea Zukowski. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. Yes. Michelle, let's start with you. How do you think the preseason has gone so far? I think it's going well. We've been working really hard um, despite of the numbers that we have. We came in with a different mentality and then we got on the field and we all get along. We all are on the same page and I'm very happy with the team right now. Abigail, how well do you think the team has handled the workouts and training that you've done so far? I think we've done really well. We've uh, come in really fit and it's translated over to we're able to push each other harder during practices and just challenge each other. Chelsea, now that you weren't planning on playing soccer here at SVC originally, how do you like the decision that you've made so far? I couldn't be happier, honestly. I can't picture not playing with them and having a family coming, because it's hard enough to adjust coming to college, but to come into some a team that's so welcoming, it makes the adjustment 20 times better, and I couldn't be Lauren, what's been the biggest transition for you this preseason compared to those that you had either at Green Mountain College last year or as a freshman or even during your high school seasons? Well, I think it's a different group of girls here and people, there's different personalities. It's totally different than high school <laughs> seasons and I think these girls are like more invested in the game and are willing to push harder. Michelle, what is the one aspect of this team that you think will account for success in the win-loss column during the season? Honestly, um, the first thing that came to my mind is the numbers that we have. Everyone seems to doubt that we have less numbers than other teams. We've seen teams with about 20, 30 football players, and we have like just the minimum amount. But I think it's such a great tactic for us to just build that energy and just feed off of each other and just get that win that we want. Abby, what kind of chemistry does this team have and how long did it take for you guys to get to that point? I think we're all really close. Um, I remember the first day we came in, we all practiced together and we instantly gelled and from there we've just gotten closer. Chelsea, when during the season do you think that this team will be 100% where it wants to be? I don't think any team, even as great as you are, will ever be at 100% because if you're a good team, you're always going for an extra goal to be, go beyond that. So I think we're just going to keep progressing as the season goes on and we'll get to where we want to be eventually. Lauren, are you excited or do you feel anything when you think about playing against your former team, that's Green Mountain College, when they visit at the SBC campus on September 20th? Um, I'm excited, a little nervous. <laughs> It was a hard decision to come here and leave that team and those girls are, you know, they're going to battle and I think it's going to be a pretty competitive game, but at the end of it, like, they're still teammates that I've been with, so I think it'll be a good game. <laughs> Michelle, who on the team has raised the most eyebrows amongst the players on the squad during the preseason? Um, I would have to say uh, the newcomer, Natalie. Uh, she's very dedicated to soccer. She definitely raised my eyebrows when we had our first game. It was, she was focused, she was determined, she did not let anything stop her, knowing that, you know, some, either, some people have more experience than others, and she knows what she has. We know our negatives, we know our positives, and she just makes it so positive, it boosts up the team too. Abby, what's the biggest improvement you've noticed so far from this year's group compared to last year's? I think the way we talk. We instantly started talking and we communicate well on the field and we're already able to read each other and play so well together. I think it took us a long time last year to get to that point and we can just go from here. Chelsea, you open up the regular season this weekend at the Norwich Cadet Kickoff Tournament. Do you think the team is ready? Yeah, I think we are. I think we're ready to show everybody that even despite our small size that we have a lot to offer and we're just ready to get started. Lauren, what can Mountaineer fans expect to see out of this team in 2014? Um, I think they can expect to see a very organized and you know, hardcore team that gives everything they have and leaves it all in the field. And that's all you can ask for in a good team. Very good. Well, as mentioned, the Mountaineers open up the 2014 season this weekend. 
when they play in the second annual Norwich Cadet Kickoff Classic hosted by Norwich University. SVC plays against Johnson State College on Saturdays at 7 p.m. and then against Linden State College on Sunday at 12.30. SVC returns for its home opener next Wednesday, September 3rd, with a 4 p.m. match against Elmira College up on Everett Field. And the Mountaineers then open up the New England Collegiate Conference play during SVC's homecoming weekend on September 27th with a 1 p.m. kickoff against Leslie University. Ladies, thank you for joining us today, and good luck this season. Thank you.